once again. Great to have you with us. I'm Kevin Steele with 12 News HD, uh, and it is great on Southeast Texas Weekly every two weeks to get to talk politics as it affects us right here down home. And to do that today, from the left, Godfrey Leggett, one of our great friends, uh, activist with the uh, Progressive Democrats, and, and Jeffrey Lewis, the Precinct 27 uh, chair uh, of the Republican Party in Jefferson County. Good to see you, Kevin. And a, and a staunch Republican leader. Good to see you, gentlemen. Happy to be here. It looks you. like uh, we're going to uh, battle it out in Washington through uh, um, uh, maybe <clears throat> June. On, when it comes to the budget, we're going however, however long it takes. Continuing uh, resolution after continuing resolution, I would. I, 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 would I will assume. say that I don't understand why these people can't be a little more adult about this. Southeast Texans are wanting to know why are they so juvenile in Washington. Well, it's, and it's not just Democrats; it's Republicans too. Each one has their own pet projects, and each one has their, you know, things they ox to gore, and they all want to fight about it instead of getting down to the business of actually coming up with a budget. I'd like to see the different departments of the government split out and force them to come up with a budget for this department by this date certain, a budget for this department by this date certain, and by the time the actual budget should roll around, it's done. You know? What happened to your president not uh, making uh, use of the schedule that you're there, referencing? But, but there is no such schedule. You no, see, that's, what no I'm, schedule. that's what I'm saying. It's all just who's going to chicken. Why is it chicken, the White House gonna... figured out the idea of because doing a schedule? Because they've been playing this game for too long. And... I thought President Obama had had these these ideas in they mind. All, We're going to... They all play political games. It's not going to be the same Washington. It's all political games, and I'm kind of tired okay. of it. We're 100 days into <clears throat> the new Republican leadership of the U.S. House of Representatives, and what do we have so far? We, well, we, we, we still have squabbling. We have no breakthrough on, on uh, the budget with the uh, exception of a, of a small continuing resolution. What happened to the idea that Speaker well, Boehner was going to change the dialogue? Well, we just passed the resolution, and it's been also passed about through the Senate. Now it's on the President's desk waiting for signature uh, for a continuing resolution for the remainder of fiscal year 2011. Okay, It, it, it funds the rest of the uh, defense budget. It funds uh, the government through the end of the fiscal year, which I believe ends in September. Okay, so the next budget that you're talking about is going to go through June, refers to 2012. And what we're, we've had two competing budgets come across. Paul Ryan presented his plan, which the president attacked in his speech the other day, and Obama presented his own proposal, and it has three facets. One, he wants to increase taxes. Two, he plans on cutting defense spending. And three, he wants to reform Medicare with a new agent, agency called the Independent Payment Advisory Board. I have so to, basically, what do you think, do you, have to what do you think about one this? Thing. He doesn't want to increase taxes. He wants to roll taxes back to the point where they were before Bush. He wants to let the Bush tax cuts expire. You're referencing the right. not so, raising taxes. You're referencing so, the right. So in other words, the current tax structure will be, unfair will to be the raised to pre-2000 uh, levels. levels. But you're referencing the riot plan. Well, is that what you're talking about? Well, the Ryan, the Ryan plan has its own thing. Uh, he, the president talks about the Ryan plan and calls it immature in, you know, di different names in the process. You know, he, he was clearly a little bit unprecedented. Because when you mentioned this, mode, the reform like of that. Medicare, that's what the Ryan plan also. But, but see, Ryan plan, the Ryan plan wants to uh, put in a lot of privatization em, uh, elements to it. The uh, Medicare Part D that has worked so well, it's come in under expectations as far as... Uh, you, you're rejecting uh, this budget. notion that 100 days in, uh, the Republicans still haven't taken control of the message? Uh, 100 days in, we have we've taken a message of, you know, the message from November and actually put it into uh, legislative uh, action. The real problem, the the right real problem is, is the Bush tax cuts are now currently contributing to almost a trillion dollars of our deficit. A trillion dollars. If they had never been instituted by Bush, we would be a trillion dollars better off right now. Okay, that doesn't take into account any of the, uh, the economic benefits we got through to 2000, what 2006 economic areas. Benefits? Well, the, the if you remember job, right, we, we actually we had, we, had, we had positive job creation from 2002 on 2006 yeah. on. Pit, pitiful, small positive job creation. Okay, but how much job creation do, can you boast, sir? You, you have absolutely <clears throat> nothing but record deficits. We, from, we, are, we are now living with the legacy of Bush's presidency. Okay. But, but you talk about the maximum deficit being 400 to 4, 500 billion dollars under Bush during a time of two wars. The, 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 the wars lowest is, deficit you had was 1.4 trillion. The wars is another thing I'm really concerned about. We should be out of Iraq. We should be out of Afghanistan. We should be out of Pakistan. 
Three. Great. The president might let you do it, but we're still there. Why? Speaking Why? Of what, because let's, of the situation. Let's cover this, Grant. Talk about the budget. Are the cuts that we're now talking about in Washington going to be effective? There'll be a thirty-eight billion dollar cut in appropriations from the rate of spending at the beginning of the Congress in January. <clears throat> a seventy-eight billion dollar cut from what President Obama requested more than a year ago. Is this what you are talking about when you talk about how right. Republicans are, are are changing the dialogue and, and beginning to make the kind of cuts that will help to keep our nation we, solving it. We, we need more. We There's will. not a clear consistence, uh, from the, uh, consensus from the Republicans oh. on how far we need to cut. I know that uh, Congressman Poe voted against this bill while Kevin Brady uh, from the uh, uh, our Jason district voted for it. Two, but two, we, we, really, we really need a little bit, you know, 38 billion doesn't sound like it's much. And it's really a whole, you know, it's really just a you know, drop, drop in, in the bucket. bucket. It is. But it's also for part of the year. We've we've made some other cuts in other areas. The Democrats going to expand. don't want to give any ground at all on the social programs because they know that the Republicans hate them. They would like to see them go away tomorrow in in their entirety. They've always wanted this ever since FDR passed it all back in the 40s. And and that's the Democrat sensationalist message versus no, the message the of truth. fact that we're hearing from Paul Ryan, the Republicans, well, talking yeah, about uh, The irony, guys, and, you, and it's you'll a, permit me, the, the irony is that uh, 81, it took 81 Democrats to get this budget bill passed yes, well, this it, week across, to get across the line. Done, there actually have been some yeah. defections uh, uh, on about, the Republican About 50-some-odd Republicans, the, the, including our own congressman, voted against this because we felt it wasn't enough because we really need a, a, a major uh, address. We can't just you know, go all, by peaceful objectives. We need we need along the lines of about five hundred, six hundred billion dollars cut right now. Trillion, but yeah, right now, and then we need to pass a balanced <coughs> budget amendment. That's five, that's that's where right many of our our own district here at home. We believe that hey, we need to stop spending more than we got, uh, and we need to do something about it right now. Look, the the whole budget we problem we have right now, Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid have zero to do with our current budget problem. Give us a quick idea of what you're talking about well, with with regard to your graphics this, here. This this graph right here. It'll be hard to, 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 be hard to see. Off. Perhaps we but, may uh, be able to catch some of this graph. But, but tell down here at the bottom, it. the dark line, that is the real budget deficit. On top of that is the economic downturn, the Bush tax cuts, and the war in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. None of that has to do with Social Security. None of that has to do with Medicare. Now, I'm not saying that Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid are not in trouble. They will, will be or are now in trouble. We have to deal with those, and we have to deal with them in a positive, intelligent way, and not sacrifice our seniors that depend on them, okay? Me being one of them. Mr. Lewis, I assume that you agree wholeheartedly with the assessment that it, it was the Bush years that, that caused the, the current uh, difficulty. No. <laughs> we, we, let, let's be honest. You know, we, we can distort numbers all you want to, but the fact, fact remains is that Obama took over a budget that was about $400 billion in, in deficit you don't and has expanded to $1.638 billion, or excuse me, trillion dollars, okay, roughly four times what he says he inherited, okay? If he inherited these numbers, then they would have remained constant. No, Instead, because he's he, expanded had, them, he uh, had to spend money to keep us out of going into a depression. Okay, uh, and, and even on your, uh, even on your little uh, well, no, graph, even on your graph there, that little line's minuscule. So where are the real deficits? What they came is the projections from health care. Military came, expense, in, interest on the budget, Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security. Okay, but your plan has uh, that Obama's put out has done nothing to address these issues. I know. That, that's the point. But the we have problem this is in a failure I'm of leadership at the executive level that we cannot tolerate. Failure of leadership? No, they're, they're trying to get the Republicans to come to a reasonable point of view. But their point of view is, let's do away with all that he's stuff. Say, what okay, he's saying, in a okay, final folks. quick word before I have to go, I, I want to give you the last word. He's saying there's a failure uh, of leadership uh, in, in the White House and that we're, we're still essentially looking at a White House that blames the last guy. They are, the Bush presidency is to blame for most of our troubles right now. Okay, Bottom guys, line. we'll have more to discuss on the budget uh, coming up in just a few moments on Southeast Texas Weekly. Stay with us.